Hey JibberJab family, welcome back to the show and thanks for taking the time to check out these brand new faces from a developer that we've had on previously called MDO Watch Faces. Now for today's show, I have three animated faces to show you and they range from very subtle animations to extreme kaleidoscope-like animations and in a full range of colors, so I hope you guys are ready for these. And if you happen to be watching my review in your car, then I suggest you put your seatbelt on because one of the faces is really a wild ride. Now, just a reminder, I now give away two coupon codes in every giveaway, so you have a chance to win one here as well as on the Watchface community website, mygearwatch.com. Okay, I'm dying to get the review going now, so let's go have a closer look at these three faces from MDO. Okay, let's start things off nice and easy with an animated hybrid watch face, which shows a heartbeat line at the bottom of the face, just along with your last recorded heart rate. Now you can double tap on the center of the face and it will actually cycle through nine different colored themes and those colors are applied to pretty much everything on the face in terms of the rings around the bezel and the display features as well as the various bars and frames for the different sections on the face. Now you have two dials on this one with one on the left hand side showing your step count and your battery remaining is in the dial on the right. Your distance traveled and calories burnt are shown at the bottom and you also have tap access to a number of useful app shortcuts. All right, taking the intensity level up a notch, here's an attractive and colorful animated digital watch face that has a fiery colored ring around the bezel that glows and it almost dances kind of like how you think of flames would move over embers. Of course, you may see something completely different than me, but that's kind of the first thing that I thought of when I saw it. Now, besides the animations, you also have your battery status, calories burnt and distance moved at the top of the face. The digital time and date is underneath that. And then in the dial to the left hand side, you have your last recorded heart rate shown. Your steps count and goal is shown near the bottom as both a total step count as well as a graphical progress bar. A small seconds hand indicator also finishes off the features right at the bottom. This one also comes with a number of app shortcuts and a clean and simple AOD mode. Okay, and the last one that I want to show you guys is actually the wildest of the three faces. So strap yourself in and put those sunglasses on because this one is very active and vibrant and you may potentially even fall into a hypnotic state if you stare at it too long. Just throwing that disclaimer out there. Now actually, I think this is a really cool looking face and not just because of the animations, but I think those various colors, the shapes for the display features, and even the time is in a contrasting font and is in front and center of the face, so it also makes it really easy to read. And for that activity information you have on the display, it includes your last recorded heart rate and distance moved at the top, there's a graphical battery status bar on the left, a steps goal bar on the right, and then you have the full date, battery remaining, step count, and a seconds indicator is all shown at the bottom. And if you want more information on the watch faces I reviewed today, then simply do a search in the Galaxy App Store under the name of these faces. The full details are also included in the video description. And I'm also going to be giving away a free coupon with one going to a random and lucky viewer that comments here, and the other coupon is going to a random user that's already registered on the My Gear Watch website. So you essentially have two chances to win, both here and on the website. But remember, you have to be a registered user in order to participate, so make sure you go sign up. As always, good luck to everyone, and I'll see you in the next episode. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I would really appreciate it if you could share this video and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and fresh content. And if you want to be notified when the newest video is just released, then just click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.